technology is providing us with tremendous opportunities that will transform the face of healthcare as we know it. And there are broadly three categories, genomics and personalised medicine, data and digital, and hardware and wearables. And when we put the three of these together in a health system that can embrace these opportunities, we're going to see unrivaled changes and transformation in the way we deliver care and the quality of service that our patients can enjoy. We need to get all get much better at actually thinking about how technology can be used more effectively in delivery of health and care services, from self-care, self-management, to actually supporting people to access um, health services online, to actually support individuals to manage their own health online, no matter what their age is, so supporting behaviour change with individuals, but thinking creatively about, for example, how can we support carers to actually continue to provide that caring role, but supporting um, the individual that they're caring for as well. And I, I think we've got a lot more to do in that. And it's a really exciting environment. And at times that are challenging in terms of austerity, etc. hopefully that will help to drive the innovation across the system. So I think technology is an enabler. My concerns are that we're people fixing people. There's a great chemical called oxytocin that you don't get from a computer screen. You don't get from a webcast. And when we get people in the room with people, um, I think we get better decisions and I'm so concerned that in the future the have and have nots aren't money or technology but personal contact and if we're going to see people healed, if we're going to see people kept well, we have to make sure that technology plays its part but we don't lose the lived experience of our patients and the lived experience of some of our best workers. So there is uh, any number of tools, I won't mention which one, um, that can really help an individual or a patient map the assets in their networks or their communities. So one of the things that we're really driving is about being much more asset based around what you can do, having the knowledge, skills and confidence to be the, you know, the person in charge of your own health. So lots of the online software now can start to map things such as your own personal family and networks, also knit and natter clubs or walking clubs, um, and some of that kind of technological um, advancement has meant that we can start talking to patients about things that really matter to them in a way we haven't done before. Technology is going to play a hugely important role in the future of health and care. We either need to, to use it in a way that's beneficial to patients and controlled in the system uh, or it will uh, disrupt and, and, and be introduced in a way that's perhaps more challenging. But fundamentally in 10 years time the way in which people access healthcare and use healthcare will change fundamentally. Technology, if harnessed properly as a force for good, will be a major driver to doing that.